Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Give you guys a little diagram here because I wanna put this actually into practice. I want you guys to understand what it means to keep yourself safe, both in a public setting, as well as keeping yourself safe if you had to protect family and get them to safety, which is something that applies to every single man listening to this podcast 100%. So this is a mock example of a layout for a restaurant. Okay, what you guys will notice is a little piano in the center. You got a few tables there, tables to the north, tables to the south. You got bathroom stalls over to the uh, eastern part of the room. So let's go through this step by step to find out, hey, when you guys enter a public space, where should you sit? So here's what I did. I chopped it up into different regions. OK, so you have A through E in terms of seating arrangements. Right. You have A and B at the top. You have C and D at the bottom or going to be the south. You have E, which is over to the east, as well as you have K, which is going to signify the kitchen. Now, when it comes to the kitchen, the kitchen can signify a few things. The kitchen is essentially the place to where any sort of possession that can be obtained will be obtained. So it could be the kitchen. It could be like the cashier's office. It can be like the back office where someone would go in and rob. It could be like a register. Right. That's going to be the place of most importance. What I did was I distilled the concepts that I consider to be the most important when you guys are trying to figure out where to sit inside of a room. Do I have eyes on entrances and exits? Where is the place that the robber is going to target? How can I limit the chances that a robber will actually interact with me? And is there anything blocking my way for me to get the hell out of here? Top four reasons. And what I did was let's assume that the robbers will come in through the northern and southern entrances and or exits. So when looking at this diagram, where can I sit to where I have eyes on the entrances and exits? Number two, where are the robbers headed? OK, toward K. I get it. Number three, which seating arrangement has interactions or potential interactions with the robbers? Because I'm in their line of sight. I'm actually along the path to get to where they're trying to go. And of course, number four. What obstructions are around me that'll make it difficult for me to exit this place? So when you guys consider all those facets, obviously B and D don't look too damn good, right? Because the robbers are running through that place. They're going to see me, which means my chances of interactions with the robbers on B and D are very high relative to A and C. If you look at E, E is going to be a bathroom location. There's a stall to the left, a stall to the right, which would be the easiest stall for me to use tactically to exit the building safely and not come across anyone trying to case the joint. Looks to me like the best ones you have are going to be on the left. The people who are in the good seating or closest to the windows or back of the actual restaurant would actually have to get past the people in the front of the restaurant to be able to exit. That's an extra obstruction. So we know that the best areas are the ones that are closest to the door to where you're able to see the entrances is not in the line of sight of the kitchen, is not on the path toward the kitchen, and it's closest to the door with no obstructions. And that's how you should approach going to any restaurant, any public space. If you care about your safety and care about the safety of your loved ones, this is what you're going to do.